Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. Welcome students, this is Mr. Johnson, coming at you from my office here at my house due to uh, COVID-19. I just wanna say welcome to week four, this is our final week. And before I get started, I would be remiss if I didn't say you guys have been doing a fantastic job. And I'm sure Mr. Velia will agree with me, you guys have been awesome. And I just wanna say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for being committed you know, to the struggle through the summer and, you know, trying to better ourselves through this distance learning. What I want to do, I'm going to just go, I'm going to show you around my office a little bit. This is obviously, I don't know if you guys like football. This is called my man cave. I have Dallas Cowboys stuff everywhere. So I don't know if you guys know that I love the Dallas Cowboys. So let me just walk around as you can see more stuff, you know, like there's my Dallas Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys everywhere. My pool table. We're going to talk about my pool table in a minute. But anyway, as you can see, this is where we do our magic. Um, again, this is our final week, and I just wanted to give you a couple announcements before um, we close this video. Um, I think I figured out how for you guys to watch this video, so I'm going to try it again today. So when you go into Google Classroom, you'll see the virtual classroom. You'll see your assignments. We're going to be uh, doing, um, a, a new, I'm teaching a new unit on integers this week for math. And also you're going to have a little writing assignment. I'm going to sign a new book. So keep that in mind. Again, I just want to show you, you know, where I do my magic. This is where I sit every day. This is my new classroom. I want to show you guys. Um, this is a program that I run. Uh, David and Miguel might know a little bit about this. But as you can see, this is a picture of me and my Man Up Boys. I run this club at my school called Man Up. And as you can see, we have a lot of uh, middle school boys that I work with and try to you know, make them better students and we love them and they love it to death. Oh, look, I have a, I have a friend here. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, look at my little friend. I have a visitor here today. Here you go, Maddie. Mm, good girl. You guys want to see a trick? Come here, Maddie. Sit. Sit. Let me see if I can get her. Sit. Give me paw. Give me paw. Give me paw. Give me paw. Good girl. Anyway, that's Maddie. She's here with me. You know, keeps me company. You know, when I get bored, when I'm losing my mind, I can always count on my little friend Maddie to, to help me out. But anyway, so check your assignments again, you guys. This is our last week. Um, we're going to be doing integer. We're going to be learning about integers this week, which is very important. We still, of course, I know you guys love your order of operations. We will be doing those as well, uh, reviewing that as well. Also, what I want to do before we leave, remember last Friday, I asked you guys to get a measuring tape, and I don't think we had a chance to do that. That's okay. What I want to do is I want to show you guys my pool table, okay? Remember I said we were going to do an activity where uh, find something in your house, and we want to find the surface area of that, uh, preferably if something was a rectangle, for example, like a ruler, I mean, I'm sorry, like a window, a door, uh, anything. There's so many objects in your house that are rectangular that uh, all you have to do is measure the length and the width and you can find the area. So let's do that now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tape measure, I'm gonna measure the width, which is the smaller side, and then I'm gonna measure the length, which is the longer side. I'm gonna give you those two measurements and for our today's warm up, I want you guys to tell me what is the area of my pool table, all right? So give me a second, I'm doing this by myself so I can't show you guys what I'm, well, I'll try it, let me see. So, taking my tape measure and I'm gonna measure this in inches. As you can see, sorry about that. As you can see, I'm measuring the width of the pool table. And as I look at it, it looks like the width of the pool table is 53 inches. So you guys have to write that down. I'll give you a second. The width of my pool table is 53 inches, 5'3". Got it? All right, now let's measure the length. This one's obviously going to be a lot longer, so let me stretch it out a bit. As you can see, trying to get it as straight as possible. And as you can see, I have my tape measure and I'm measuring the length. And wow, you guys, like I said, this is a huge number. This length of my pool table measures 97 inches. 
nine seven, 97 inches. So we have a width of 53 and the length is 97 inches. Now, your job is I'm gonna stop the video and get ready to see you guys on Zoom in a second. If you guys have looked at this video before nine o'clock, that's fine. And you found the area of the pool table, kudos and A plus for you. But if you didn't get a chance, we'll do it as our warm up when we get started at nine, okay? So once again, thanks for visiting with me. Thanks for coming to my office, visiting my classroom. You wanna say bye, Maddie? Sit, where's Maddie? There's Maddie, there's Maddie. Look at Maddie, she's ready for another treat. You want a treat? You ready for your treat? Give me a paw, give me a paw, sit, give me a paw. Give me a paw, wait, 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 let me show you guys. She really, sit, give me a paw. Good girl, that's how she gets her treat. So I owe her a treat, I don't have any. But I'll see you guys in a bit. I know this was a long video, but hey, all we have is time. I'll see you guys. Remember week four, it's gonna go fast. Let's have some fun. Peace.